What's up everybody, Brody here with Soya Quilting. Today in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to make this super easy two hour jelly roll race quilt. All you need is a jelly roll and a little bit of yardage. Like I said, super easy to make, a fun one you can take to retreats or just do on a weekend or in a handful of hours. Let's get started. All right, everyone, so like I said, you can do this with a jelly roll and a little bit of background yardage. Now, as you can see, the one behind me is here, it's just a nice print in yellows. During this tour, we're gonna use a batik, and I wanna do a little shameless plug here. Our new collection, Not Your Mama's Garden, has just hit the shelves. You can get it in the link below. Do not miss out on this. You're gonna to wanna to get some for yourself. Now, let's jump into the cutting. So as far as cutting goes, it's super, super simple. The idea behind this quilt is you can do it while you're talking to friends, while you're hanging out, while you're sewing, and not have to think too much about what you're doing as you're quilting. So, you're gonna get your jelly roll and you're just gonna open up your strips and lay them out on the table, okay? I like to do them, just mix them up, do kind of a pattern you think is gonna look good. I try not to get too many strips of the same color next to each other, so you're gonna do the same thing as you're laying them out. Then what you need to do is take your background yardage and you're gonna cut two and a half inch squares from your background yardage. I would cut it, but you guys already know what you're doing. So, two and a half inch squares, and that's what's gonna put these little tiles here throughout your quilt. So, simple as that, your cutting's done. You're ready to rock and roll, ready to start sewing. So, I'm gonna show you how to do that. You're gonna take your first strip, you're gonna take it here, take one of your little squares, you're going to put them, this is a batik, so it's not right sides together, but you put them right sides together, and you're going to sew just across the top here. You don't need to go on the bias or anything like that. Quarter inch seam, and start sewing. First seam's done. You're gonna open it up, grab your next strip. You can iron these or pre-iron these if you want, not necessary. Take your next strip, you're gonna just basically make a super long chain with these strips, okay? So add the next one here. There we go. You're gonna open this one up, you're gonna get another two and a half inch square, set it down here, sew it on, and you're gonna repeat this process with your entire jelly roll, okay? At the end, you're gonna have just this one big old long strip that's gonna turn into this quilt, okay? So I'm gonna repeat this process 42 times, or 40, 42, depending on how many strips are in your jelly roll, and then we'll be back here to show you how to finish it. So at this point, if you're following along and sewing with the video, you should have a big, giant set of strips that are sewn together. The most important thing about the next step is that you wanna make sure you don't have your, your strips twisted. So an easy way to do that that I found is I put a wonder clip on the end just to show you where my end is. And I just put it underneath the presser foot of the machine and put the needle down. Then from here, what I'm gonna do is just pull it out and onto the floor, making sure that I am not putting my, not getting any twists in it. And I actually have this upside down, so we're gonna try this one more time. Put the needle down, and I'm just gonna pull it like this and you can see that everything is in line. If I do it this way, I'll be able to pull it out here and make sure that I have no twists in my strip, okay? So, I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be like a little time lapse for you. Ready, set, go. And just like that, we're at the end. I'm now gonna take this end that we've just made sure we have no twists in here. I'm gonna bring it up and put it right sides together, don't step on your pile, right sides together, matching up the ends like this. But before you start sewing, you need to do one thing that's super, super important. I'm gonna show you what that is right now. So in order to get the effect here, where you have kind of just a random pattern as far as your little squares go, you have to cut off a little section of one of your strips, okay? If you don't, you'll end up with all of your squares in one line and all the strips in one line and it's not gonna have the same cool effect. So I'm gonna take this right here, and again, don't twist these, because you've, you've already untwirled all of them. So I'm gonna take these two pieces that are right sides together, I'm gonna just set this back underneath here, I'm gonna cut off about 10 inches from one of your strips, doesn't matter what side it's on, about 10 inches. So I'm just gonna lay this down on my mat here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You can just eyeball it, it doesn't need to be exact. And I'm going to cut it off. Just like that. Now, back to the process. So we're taking this, putting them right sides together, and you're gonna sew a quarter inch seam 
down the entire one side of this set of strips. So I'm gonna set this underneath here, and we're gonna sew all the way down one side till we get to the very end. At the end of this strip set, I'm gonna show you what's next. Okay, everyone, so I've gotten down to the end of my strip set. As you can see, I have a little loop here. So I'm gonna sew right down to the end, leaving just enough space to get a pair of scissors in there. So let's take it to the end. I've gone to the end and tied off my thread. Now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take this right here and we're going to slice it right in half. So I'm gonna stick my scissors in and literally just snip it straight down like so. Here's the important part. You're gonna do the exact same thing over again, but you're going to open up your strips first. You'll be sewing two strips to two strips, okay? So I like to go through this process the exact same way. I'm gonna take this here, I'm gonna put it right side up underneath my machine, and then I'm gonna take this, kind of just give it a little toss. Here's my other end, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out and do the exact same thing to make sure we have no twists in it. So I'm gonna set this down and start my opening, twisting, untwisting process. So here we go. And start the tie lapse now. And stop. So I've made it to the end here. We're gonna put these right sides together. No cutting needed, nothing like that. You're just going to put them right sides together and you're gonna sew a quarter inch seam all the way down one side. So. Here we go. So once again, we're at the end here and we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna sew right up to the end and then we're gonna cut it in half and repeat the process again and again. And eventually it's gonna come out looking something like this, okay? It's always fun because it's a surprise at the end because you don't know exactly what it's gonna look like. You don't know where your squares have landed. So it's kind of a surprise. We're gonna do this, like I said, one more time and uh, We'll be back here. All right, sewed off the edge here. Actually sewed a little too far, but that's okay. Like I said, if you can help it, if you can uh, try not to sew off the edge, it helps when you're cutting, but that's all it takes if you do. This is in half now. So open this up just like this. I'm gonna bring it underneath my machine again. And then just gonna making sure there's no twists in it. And we're opening it up, kind of giving it a little stretch, make sure you didn't run out of bobbin, make sure that none of that stuff happened, okay? It's really cool, because if you have a jelly roll that you don't know what you're gonna do with yet, you just love the jelly roll, and you just want a quick and easy, like, throw quilt, you can just do one of these here, and then back it in minky, and boom, you have a soft quilt that is exactly what you're looking for. Down to the end, and bring it over, stuff over my little pile here, right sides together, and we're gonna start sewing again. So coming down to the end again, exact same story. We're gonna sew right up to the end. And cut. Do the exact same thing. Slide your scissors in and cut it right in half. You can lay it down if you wanna make sure you're getting a real straight cut. You're literally just cutting it right in half. Okay, now, once again, you're gonna repeat the process. Starting to come out here. Every time you're getting a little bit faster, sort of. All right, bring it down, make sure you have no twists. And if you're at the very beginning of this, you have like a twist in the beginning, not a big difference, but if you have it this big, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a little hard to get that twist out when you're cutting, because now you're, you know, you're gonna be losing some fabric that you don't wanna do. Sew it one more time, straight down, just like we've been doing. Okay guys, so getting to the end here, this is where we're at. We're gonna do it just like we've been doing it before. Sound like a broken record over here. Right over to the end. And we're going to cut it again. And oh wait, out of bobbin. Hold on, we gotta switch out that bobbin. And that's one thing I was gonna tell you is you gotta make sure that uh, you don't do what I did and uh, make sure you're washing your bobbin because 
This is the second time during this video that I've run out of bobbin. You use a lot of thread. You're laying down a lot of thread at one time, so make sure that you, uh, you're you watching that. I'm gonna fix this real fast. All right, back at it. I don't know, I think we need to do one or two more folds here. And then uh, like just like that, our quilt's gonna be done. So let's get this cut just like this. Okay, now repeat the process. I think one more time, might be two more times. Let's see here, drop this guy under. And we're gonna stick it underneath the machine. Right sides together. As I'm getting to the end here, I think this is my last, my last one. I'm gonna grab the scissors. straight down. Now, you have two options here. Check this out. One, keep it just like that. Two, you can do it one more time. I wouldn't recommend it, but this is gonna give you about a 60 by 70 inch quilt. This is how I'm keeping mine. Let me pull it up here so you guys can see it up real nice and close. Guys, they come out awesome. They're super easy to do. They look great and they're great charity projects as well. I know lots of times people are afraid to do a charity project. They're not sure what they're gonna do. They're not sure what someone's gonna like. Grab one of your jelly rolls out of your stash that you love or one that you say, you know what, I'm probably not gonna make something with this. Make yourself a jelly roll quilt just like this, okay? Two hours, easy, fun to do, and you'll be able to donate it to somebody that's in need. Give it to a loved one, put it on the couch, do what you want with it. That's it, everyone. You've seen how easy this is. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've liked the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to share this video and all the other ones with your friends. If you haven't joined us for our live sales, we're live every Tuesday and Saturday evening right here on YouTube starting at 5 p.m. Pacific time, selling only the highest quality of fabrics like these you see here in the video, or you can hop on soyaquilting.com and check it out. My name is Brody, teaching you how to sew like a pro. We'll see you here next time at Soya Quilting.